I'm going to use the ice pick to make some artwork and I've been playing about with a couple of ideas here but I'm going to try something a little more ambitious than this. It's going to be an image of Jimmy himself. I have no idea how well it's going to turn out but I'm going to give it a crack anyway. That's all the dots finished. It was quite a task. There were a lot of them, but I actually quite enjoyed the process. I may actually add one or two more when I remove this template uh, if I feel like it needs some. Uh, I have no idea how effective this is going to be. The image is just shadows, midtones, and highlights. The shadows, I've put the dots really close together. The highlights have been left for the uh, whiteboard to show through so that's what this is on a piece of whiteboard and then the midtones the dots are just further apart I've just trimmed this down on the table saw to size as well I probably should have done that before I started in the shadow areas where the dots are close together it's actually raised and that's because uh, the fibers underneath the the white surface of the whiteboard have loosened up and it's just raised slightly I don't think it's going to be a problem but when I peel this template off I'm hoping it doesn't take the white off with it there are a couple of areas I'm concerned about around the glasses and the eye and it may just do that but if it does I'll just have to get a bit of white paint and touch that up. I've decided to go through the shadows and add more dots to uh, make the shadows more dense so the image stands out a little bit more.
When I first got the ice pick, I had no idea what I was going to do with it, but that's what a challenge is. It got me thinking, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I could definitely do a better job if I were to do it again. I got some of the holes a bit close together, and the whiteboard broke in those places, but it touched up okay, and I'm happy with it. So thanks to Christiana for sending it to me and giving me the challenge, and uh, thanks to Brian uh, from Wooden Creations for setting up the challenge in the first place. I'll be passing it on this week to another maker and there might be a clue right in front of you who that's going to be. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.